Hey, what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I'm talking about Google I.O. 2014, and more specifically, what I expect to see from Google Glass. So we're definitely overdue for a consumer version of Google Glass, something that doesn't cost $1,500, and maybe doesn't look quite so nerdy. The Glass Group has already made steady progress over the last year or so, working with designers on new frames, and software developers on new apps. But Google really needs to get Glass out of the Explorer phase, and move on to an official launch. That won't necessarily happen at I.O., but at the very least, the company should provide an update on what's next. So Google Glass was originally introduced at Google I.O. 2012, and it delivered a new way to stay connected to the internet and Google's ecosystem. The product was initially only available in extremely limited numbers, but the company did eventually open up its Google Glass Explorer beta program to those in the United States and the UK, while also offering the device alongside a growing number of designer frames. Now this year, I think we probably won't be seeing too much in the way of a redesign for Glass, but what I'm hoping we will see is a more realistic price tag for people who maybe have been wanting Google Glass, but just haven't been able to justify spending $1,500 on it. Now I think that maybe a $300 or $400 asking price for Google Glass would be pretty reasonable, and even if Google decided to go slightly more than that, I think it would get a lot more people excited about this product. So far it's been a very niche product just because, I mean, like I said before, no one is really willing to spend $1,500 on it for obvious reasons. Basically, right now, it just basically does what your smartphone does in a wearable format. It's also slightly intrusive by the fact that it's actually on your eyes, and people have really made fun of Google Glass for, you know, uh, people, how they look with it, and, you know, what they could be doing on Google Glass at various different points in time. There have also been privacy concerns, which Google has been addressing, but again, this is something that needs to be worked out in Google Glass 2.0. Now, I'm curious to see what you'd like to see in Google Glass 2.0 in the comments below. I think there's a lot of room for improvement with Google Glass, obviously, and I think we definitely haven't seen the last of this. I'm not sure whether, as I said before, it will be unveiled at Google I.O., or whether it will be some unveiled sometime later this year, but whenever it is, I really can't wait to see you know, what Google has planned and when it will actually be revealed for the general public. I'm hoping for maybe a 2014, 2015 release date somewhere in there, and I think that's probably pretty realistic, considering that you know, this has been in the beta phase for about two years now. Anyways, like I said before, let me know what you'd like to see in Google Glass 2.0 in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!